What's going on guys? Hit pause back for part two of this World Machine uh, quick run through. And uh, in the last part I showed you guys how to just you know use some of the generators to and the combiners. So in this next one we're going to use a few of these filters. So the first one we're going to try is erosion. Now you can actually click right on the line and you'll in uh, inject it into the system here. And it's kind of hard to tell with this weird shape, but we are actually now officially eroding stuff. But uh, if you enable this uh, geological time enhancement and turn that erosion up, you can see that we actually have pretty much almost automatically made it look much more natural. Okay. However, we have destroyed a lot of the detail. Uh, and that is just kind of inherent with erosion because that's exactly what it's doing. So we do have some more options here for like base duration and things like that. Rock hardness, these are just kind of different ways to filter the effect in and out, okay, based on slope angles and things like that, whatever it figures out, I don't know, sediment carry amount. Um, you can see it's kind of how far the, the ground blends up to the stuff. Uh, filter strength doesn't seem to do anything right now because I have no filter, but if I do like say like an inverse filter, I turn the strength off and on, okay, you can see that that starts to have an actual effect. Um, simple filter, same kind of thing. Okay. Simple filter seems to bring everything up to meet it, but I don't really want that filter on there. Um, there's channel depth and things like that because we can use uh, channel erosion right here. So now this becomes active and I can deepen the channels. All right. So let's say, hey, we want some more channels. There's more post-channeling, uh, post-channel erosion. So, kind of smooths the whole thing out. It's kind of a way to just even things out a little bit here and there. But keeping in mind again that it does kind of destroy your stuff. You can still make out my star, but one walking around in here now would have no idea. So you can see how I took those crazy shapes and just I went, you know, I made it look much more natural just by using a simple erosion filter. Now, if we take that into the 3D view. You'll notice that it pretty much looks crappy and it's kind of hard to tell what's going on, but if we hit this build tool build button here, um, it's going to start building. Now, I want to take a second to explain the way this build thing works. It's actually cool um, because what it does is certain things get built 100%, 100%, you'll see that here. Um, when you go to build again, it's only going to build the things that have changed, or if they've changed earlier in the chain, then they affect everything else. But the later things in the, it's kind of a hierarchy of things. Because if you look here, we have a hierarchy. Okay, we have a tree going on here. Right? Okay, see how it's a tree and it's branching out? So if I come here and I build again, you'll notice it doesn't do anything. But let's say that I change, well actually here, let's do this. We'll add another filter after the fact. Okay, thermal weathering. All right, and let's say strength. I mean, I don't really even know what this is. I don't know if this is having any angle uh, effect. Yeah, it is. Okay, so thermal weathering this is kind of like a smoothing system. You can think of it like that. Um, mass balance and things like that but let's just say that 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 we liked that now when we come back here to the 3d view if we hit build again if you pay really close attention when this comes up notice how the only thing building was the thermal weathering uh, and that is because the um, the all the other stuff before it has already been built it's already it already knows what it looks like at this point okay but if I come here and I say hey the combiner I'm just gonna touch that and hit OK and I go to build again, it's now got to do the erosion and the thermal weathering again because those came after because they're affected by it. So just keep that in mind that this only builds what's needed but it is um, you know what's changed. But if I change something here that's going to change, that's going to make me rebuild the whole thing because that, that propagates through the whole thing. That affects this combiner which affects all these. Actually you probably wouldn't have to build past this Perlin noise uh, so I don't think that this these two would need building or this actually it would just need to build right here but just you know like I said keep it in mind um, and the other thing to keep in mind and this is very important that erosion is by far by far 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 like by a thousand and million percent this takes longer to build than everything else that you can pretty much do I'm sure you can make some crazy math stuff that 
can take just as long, but the erosion filter takes an eternity to build compared to everything else. Um, here, let's just uh, here, let's just do this. We'll go to the layout generator, and I'll just take this and I'll move it just a hair, okay? And then we'll build again. Okay. See how these were already basically done? Look at the time. 0 0.01 versus 2.64. So that's a lot, right? You know, 264 times. So keep that in mind because it makes a huge difference when it comes to doing this in the final output. Okay, uh, which what happens is you you do that from here. Now I would suggest if you're doing this for UE4 to take off the plus one just because you don't actually need it uh, for anything, and in fact it kind of hurts you. So I'm also going to check conserve memory here. All right. So I've just upped my resolution by clicking here. I've just set this to 2048. Uh, I don't want anything else to really change. Um, I can change the altitude scaling if I want to, but I don't. Okay, you can make things much taller or much lower. I don't do that. I tend to just keep it default. Okay. Um, now when I build again, this is going to take a lot longer. Okay. Um, hopefully not so long that it was a mistake for me to hit the button. Uh, but you can see that, you know, okay, Perlin noise, that took almost three seconds. Now we're in erosion. Now this is where erosion could take 90 to 150 seconds. So it's important to when you do this to use as little erosion as possible. You can drag out multiple erosion filters, okay? You can erode, then erode again, then erode again, then erode again if you want. But by doing that, you have to build each and every one of those erosion filters. And you could be looking at hours. If you put enough of them, if you did a 4090, if you didn't have a great computer, if you did a 4096 terrain and you put 10 erosion filters based on a huge network, you could very well push the build time into the days, like more than 24 hours to build. Um, it's very, very possible to do to go crazy especially if you were doing one of those super large world terrains right that's really 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 a lot a lot of calculations so you can see we're already up over a minute so it's important when you do this to try to erode at the end of the chain uh, and then basically don't try not to touch it after that and the erosion filter is why you don't want to work in high res mode like and just build in high res mode without the erosion filter in there you can work in 2048 or 4096 okay it'll it, it won't take that long to build every time just maybe 20 15 20 seconds or something but you throw an erosion filter on there and you're looking at minutes you know uh the thermal weathering is not as bad uh i don't think the ocean um one is either. There's an ocean uh, weathering thing. Kind of a beach erosion type thing. And you can see we're only at 50%. So we got another minute and well another two minutes before this is done. So whatever the result I'm gonna show you guys the next set of stuff which is gonna be how to get some of these masks out of here. Uh, the only reason I don't like to use masks, the splat maps, um, like just basically, you know, it's just a texture that lays over this entire terrain to mask out where I want different things. The only reason I don't like that is just because of how much that locks you down when you get into UE4. Um, your terrain can't really be adjusted all that well because the details from that, uh, from anything you add, are not going to be there uh, in the textures. And anything you remove from the terrain is not going to get removed from the texture detail. That all needs to be dialed and done basically here uh, inside of World Machine and I don't like that kind of workflow you know it's very restrictive um, that's why I use the I use the same fundamental theories that this system uses inside of UE4 with the material with the dynamic material right uh, because this this app is doing the same thing it's reading slope angles or it's reading height and it's masking everything based on that. Now that works perfectly fine for a very uh, natural 
environment that you're trying to create, but it doesn't do you all that much good for something a little bit uh, more man-made, more mechanical, um, meaning, you know, uh, like a f flat area to a perfect square cliff kind of thing, squared off quarries and things like that, anything man-made, you know. Uh, like very very specific roads and paths and things like that that are cut through the whole thing are not as easy to do here as they are in UE4 just by you know flattening out your roads and stuff um, and I like that detail to be able to be added you know and, and just fit itself into the way that the whole thing is being you know being rendered the thermal weathering didn't even do me any visual good so building that is gonna suck But I will show you guys how to get the splat maps out just in case you do want to do that. Because it's not that they aren't handy to have. They can enhance things for sure. Um, but me personally, I don't like to use them for the main meat of how everything's done. Like I don't want to have a three channel texture for grass, rock, and dirt. It, it would kind of work, but if I would put a new cliff somewhere, it's, that's not showing up. That's not going to give me rock on that cliff then what do I do, right? I gotta go back to World Machine and add the cliff there. Now a very small little outcropping of a couple of pixels here and there where you've say flattened out a little plateau for a sniper to hide on on the side of a mountain or something, that kind of thing in inside a World Machine is simply not worth trying to do. It's simply not the tool for that kind of thing. Um, I use World Machine as the broad stroke you guys, I, I don't know how you guys want to do it. Like I said, if, if, if you have a, a boss or a, you know, a client or a, a manager or even yourself as any one of those things, you know, acting positions against yourself, right? Um, and there's a very specific design that has to be done. Like this has to be flat right here. This has, these mountains have to be exactly right here. You have to follow this, you know, top down view or something like that. And we don't have a height map to give you. Um, in that case, then you, you know you're looking at kind of a difficult time I'll be honest with you because you just basically well not really all you really need to do is just go in and just block out all the shapes that they tell you to do so this is you know and you can set the heights of these things and the fall offs and everything so with a, with a simple layout generator there's nothing that you kinda can't create it's pretty simple I mean you saw mine mine's got a star in the middle of it you know the natural world tends to not generate too many uh, five pointed star shapes uh, at least not in the mountains and stuff. If there was one, I'm pretty sure we'd blame it on aliens, you know. But yeah, so after this builds, we'll get the splat maps out. Uh, actually, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and end the video and I'll just show you guys how to get that out after. This is going to take long enough for me to warrant that, so I'll see you guys in the next part.